Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Hello. Bonjour. Konnichiwa. Ni hao. Bonjour. I think I said bonjour already. Bonos dias. It's a beautiful day to be alive. It's already been for a run on the beach this morning. It was awesome. I loved it. And I'm excited to dive into this video with you guys today. I don't have a plan. I mean, I don't consciously have a plan, but my soul coming through me has a very specific plan for this video. So I'm both receiving this and channeling, I guess, or speaking about this at the exact same time. Um, one of the things that has been really evident for me lately is that how important it is to maintain our consciousness through all of the different challenges and trials life, life throws at us. So there's been... <sighs> You can hear it, right? Like my size. There's just this like exasperation, this part of me that's very much exasperated by by the challenges of life. And it's like, I mean, life never stops being challenging. And I, I really, this landed for me like really clearly when I realized that like I was striving for this like mountaintop, like working, working, hustling, 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 sacrificing myself a lot too. Or like a, a little bit, not as much as I used to, but still sacrificing myself and what I actually wanted for this idea that I would reach a point where I would just feel relaxed all the time and everything would be perfect all the time. And in this lifetime, right? Like I thought that I would just reach this pinnacle where I was like, nope, I've got this, like life is epic and it's just always epic. And that's kind of sold to us a lot in personal development. Like it's, you know, we're not, I'm not stupid for believing that. I'm not stupid for, um, feeling like that was a you know in the within the realm of, of possibility because that's the illusion and the golden shadow that a lot of people are peddling especially in like I mean if you want to talk about like network marketing businesses and and other like you know businesses that aspirational businesses that re, re, rely rely and require on people to buy into an idea People to want to escape their pain and buy into an idea of how their life will be. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of that stuff. It's so interesting as I'm like having this, like yeah, con parts of my consciousness are kind of like coming online. It's a really surreal experience where it's like I'm waking up to myself as I'm speaking. Um, so these videos, and this is like a perfect example of creating for yourself. These videos are such a great example of that because I'm not just like pouring myself out for you, right? Like I'm not just showing up being like, oh, I've got to, you know, serve this person. I've got to like, you know, this is just, this is all for you. I'm just going to give my all to you. Like, yes, I'm giving my all. And it's also for me. Like this is such a, this is just as valuable and rewarding of an experience for me as it is and will be for you. And I think that's like the clincher that so many people, or I was certainly missing for a really long time in my creativity and, um, yeah, my creations and what I was doing. It was like, I thought I had to show up for like specifically for the people that I'm serving. And the reality is like, I actually get to also, um, like this is an experience that I get to enjoy and I get to, yeah, I get to love as well. Cause otherwise why would I do it? Like if I didn't truly actually love the experience of creating this then why would I do it exactly <sighs> couple of things so these videos are kind of like a little mini therapy session for me because it's good I um yeah I can hear myself as I'm saying things out loud I had a situation recently where I was in a relationship and looking back on it there were some things where I couldn't see them while I was in it. And this, you know, this happens a lot, right? We go unconscious. We, we make decisions based on like some really, really deep seated, like programming or belief that we literally can't even see in until we look back in hindsight. And it's, this is like this level of like energetic mastery, I guess, or self mastery. And that's not like mastery over, but it's like mastery of, um, where it's like you really have to maintain this really clear level of like connection to what it is that you actually want and who you actually are because there's so many traps I actually had this really cool vision this morning of myself my small self or just like myself walking through this like void this of empty space and there's all these um 
it was all these like cages around me and they had their doors open and it was like I was just moving through them and not being like not going into them but like moving through them and the the feeling that I got was like I was I'm narrowly avoiding all of these like traps and cages and then the dream or the vision kind of went on to find like a part of myself this like Goliath kind of aspect of me which was like representative of like doubt and fear and kind of this really actually fucking scared like scared that I'm you know scared that she's not good enough like that inadequacy that fear of inadequacy that creates these like monsters these giants um that aren't actually giants at all it's just like you know this this deep-seated inadequacy that feels like it needs to like puff itself up in order to appear big so that it can like hide how unbelievably small it really feels and how unbelievably like scared it is that it's not good enough and you, you know we've all yeah I've grappled with that like continuously and it's something that I've been working on and working through a lot this year is like calling home that piece of me that just feels so not good enough and understanding and yielding to the authority that I have to declare myself good enough and knowing like actually I am good enough and I don't need to make this big giant you know scary thing that like shoves me into cages and tries to like get me off my path out of fear out of fear that like as I'm walking my path like it won't like somehow I won't, you know, like make it or be good or it won't be good enough or I'm not, you know, capable. It's like... <laughs> Well, of course I'm capable. Like, my name, like... Okay, so, literally, you guys, my... So, the name J. J-A-E. It's actually Korean. I didn't know this for a really long time, and then I found it out. I think in my, like, early 20s. Um, it's Korean, and J actually means talent or ability. Like, the name J. And it's so funny, because it's, like, it's... It means a lot to me. Like, I've, you know, I've decided that I'm, I'm taking on this... Um, this meaning it, it holds a lot of significance for me and when I think about like the irony and the cosmic joke of these two things of like this an insecurity and inadequacy of like oh my god you're definitely not good enough and like the name like being you know a core piece of my identity and who I am in this lifetime that was given to me and I'm just like like what a fucking like what a joke like you're like Jay your name literally means ability like you can do this um, so yeah, just really like believing in myself and having my own back in that sense and maintaining my level of consciousness where, um, deeply kind of like, you know, hooks and attachments want to take us out and want to make us believe in the illusion that there is something that we, um, well, depending on what the illusion is, like there's so many different illusions that we can kind of get swept up in, but I guess that there's only also kind of one, which is that we're separate and that there's something that you have that I don't have or something that you have access to that I don't have access to you know like I guess that's the one illusion is separateness right so it's like the only every other kind of distortion and illusion comes from that like the, the the belief that human beings are separate from God and the ultimate truth is that we are God and that we are divinity itself expressing and experiencing and exploring itself through this human frame and and this human being, um, being human <laughs> in this experience. Um, and it's like, oh, I had this really cool thing this morning. I was playing that song. Oh, baby, do you know what that's worth? Oh, heaven is a place on, uh, yeah, earth. <laughs> and, um, I was like, that's, to me, that's like the ultimate for me is like cultivating that place of, or knowing that heaven is within me. And understanding that, okay, cool, so because heaven's here and I'm on earth, then heaven's here, right? Like, heaven is on earth. I have this beautiful ring that I got when I was, like, actually, I think I was, like, 19. Maybe it was a bit later, but I think I was, like, not even 20. And it says, on earth as it is in heaven. No, as in heaven, so on earth. And I wear it, and I used to wear it all the time. I wore it again the other day. But it's, like, it's just this beautiful reminder that this is what we're doing, and it's kind of already done. It, it is already done at the same time because the fact that we're here, the fact that I exist, the fact that you exist, the fact that we're like spinning around in this beautiful ball on this planet is li like we are the living proof. If you're ever, if your mind is trying to take you out of my mind does this or the mind does this sometimes too. Um, it's like, well, where's the proof? Like, where is the, what was I going through this morning? It was just like, where's the evidence I don't even know. I was literally grappling with this this morning and just reminding myself, like, I am the living proof that 
heaven is on earth, that I don't have to be a slave to my past or my insecurities, that transformation is possible, that who I am is enough. Like, you are the living proof. Just remember that. If there's a part of you that's stuck in, like, doubt or fear or scarcity, yeah, just you get to be the living proof. And that's enough. Like, that's actually all you need. Um, I feel like sometimes, you know, the saboteur... Well, the saboteur archetype wants to go on these, like, tangents and gather all this evidence and support this thing. And it's really scared of being judged. This is the saboteur archetype that I'm noticing. I've noticed in myself. It's like it, it's we're getting ready for a trial all the time. And it's like I'm going to face a jury of my peers and I have to have all this evidence. And every decision that I make, I have to back it up with, like, I did it because of this, this, and this. And I have to prove my virtue. And I have to, like, you know, like, consistently remind myself and everyone that I'm a good person. Look at all my deeds, you know? like, And that's where the virtue signaling comes in. It's like, look at all these things that I'm doing. And it's constantly, like evidence evidence like grabbing these things like protecting itself ready to you know face this like harsh judgment that ironically it's also created like that's the that's the shadow bind is like judge and um judged like fear of being judged and also the judger at the same or the judge at the same time so it's like okay so drop through that and see through that and the truth of it is that acceptance like unconditional acceptance and so I've decided, and when you decide for yourself, we're going on a tangent here, that's okay. Um, it's like, it's just unconditionally accepting yourself no matter what. And that's how you kind of, well, that's how I freed myself and liberated myself from that particular, one particular shadow bind. I really hope my phone's not going to die because I want to talk about this too. I have been following this new person on TikTok who is, um, he's an indigo child and he's been channeling all this stuff and his mum has the TikTok and kind of asks him questions and he responds. And he's just so fucking pure, like so, such this beautiful, clear, pure energy. Um, and I see a lot of like, I mean, that was me, right? Like as an indigo child, like we come into the world and we're weird, like we're super weird and we don't really, you know, fit in and there's a lot that we know that we don't know how we know, but we just know it with such like unbelievable certainty. And I noticed a few people commenting who had this similar experience to me, obviously, because it's just a mirror for what I'm experiencing. Um, but had, a few people had these like comments of, um, oh, you know, you're so lucky to have a mom. He's so lucky to have you. He's so lucky to have your support. Good job, mama, like all those kind of things. And it's just like, I get that. And I feel this like deep visceral, like longing in myself as well to have had that experience where you are like from such a young age, like celebrated and lifted up and believed in, like, this is such a thing, recurring thing for me, you know, self-belief, but like actually being fucking believed in, like you come out with this stuff and it's not just like, you know, dismissed or devalued, like, oh, that's nice, like, little child, well done, you know, um, it's actually, but then, like, you know, kind of just, like, yeah, literally, it's dismissed and devalued and written off, I'm trying to find the word, and I haven't, like, hit that proper word, but I will, that, like, exact word, but I will, and it's, like, we, I long for that, right, like, I absolutely long for that, and I get to meet it within myself, I get to meet that part of myself that feels that longing and I get to give that to her. And I get to say, you know what? I fucking believe you. I believe in you. I trust you. I know you know what you know. I know that what you're saying is real and true and honest and pure and good. I know that what you're saying will change lives. I know that what you're saying and believing and what you're experiencing and seeing and what you know is going to impact the world in a massive way. I believe in your prophecies. I believe in like the the gold that is dripping from your tongue when you speak. I believe the truth that is like pouring out of you in waves and waves and waves and waves. And, and I fucking back you in that. Like I actually back you in that and I will live and die for you. <laughs> and <laughs> that level guys of like, that's how you meet that part of yourself. That's how, well, that's how I've met that place within myself. And that's how you meet that, like that longing. So you don't need to project, you know, I wish it had been this way. I wish it, no, it doesn't matter that it wasn't that way. You get to meet that for yourself now. And you know, there's gold in your journey. That's like, 
there's there's gold in that experience like there's there's you can't compare the different journeys because like we're, it's all of our journeys are incomparable but there is gold and wisdom in your specific experience and the journey that you go on to achieve these things and you might not be able to see it unless or until you kind of go out and look back but oh, there's so much fucking gold it's oh my god it's insane it's really really cool So yeah, it's not about wishing it was different. That's a waste of energy. It's like, it's wishing that it's knowing that you get to meet that place within yourself. And yeah. And it's also, yeah, I feel like this is landing for me right now is literally like having, you know, enjoying the experience along the way with myself. And you know, that piece of me that was that little girl who, and is still that like visionary dreamer, kind of that childlike energy who does dream and, you know, has these like big ideas about what, where the world is going and what's happening. Like knowing that I get to have fun and play with her every single day. And it's not also, and also, you know, we're talking about visions and big picture stuff, but it's, it's right here and right now. It's like today, like right now in this, like I'm having fun, I'm doing that, but it's like in, it's in this moment, I'm bringing what's out there into this moment. And I get to do that with everything that I do, all that I do today and all that I weave, like the people that I talk to and the experiences that I have, like I'm bringing myself and I'm bringing, you know, who I am. And so I'm bringing the vision, like I'm bringing the vision to life because I'm being who I am in the world. Like that's, yeah, that's such a great way to put it. I am bringing my vision to life as I am who I am in the world. <laughs> what else are you going to do? It's not like this. I wrote a, yeah, it's not this big thing out here. It is, it's massive, and it's not, it's like, it's here. You are the vision, you are the prophecy, you are the living embodiment, the living proof that heaven is alive and well on earth. I'm going to do something we see I, I yeah we me and my inner child or me and my visionary just me and me me and myself are going to go do something else now have the most just we're going to have so much fun today you included just make the decision that you're going to have so much fun today and if you've got any questions or comments if there's something that you're really struggling with put it in the comments under this video and I will do my best to um jailbreak it or help you offer my perspective on it because perspective is everything and a new perspective can I mean obviously it changes the way that you see it and then it changes the way you experience it and it shows you like I said I posted this thing the other day about um this escape room analogy it's like when you're in the escape room you can you know you're locked in right <laughs> you can like this is like the mental prisons that we create around ourselves you can like bang on the door and be like, let me out. <laughs> or you can focus on solving the clue that is right in front of you. And then it's not about getting out. It's about having the experience you're having in the room. Because you like creating these experiences for yourself and learning how to break, like jailbreak your way out of them and clear through things and liberate yourself is how you build like your resilience and how you build that inner sense of self-trust. Cool. All right. Au revoir. I'll see you in my next video. Sayonara. Au revoir. Bon nuit. <laughs> Konbanwa. Arigato. Ciao. It's like one more minute. Until it hits a specific time that I really like. And I want it to end on that specific time. <laughs> Okay, okay. But yeah, seriously, if you have questions, put them in the comments. 
let's talk let's have a chat getting into the specifics and the nitty-gritty is like where there's so much of the magic happens it is really where the magic happens in the specifics like we can talk about these big broad like overarching concepts but like the specifics of your life is how life is speaking to you and it life is speaking to you through the specific situations and circumstances of your experience so that's where like there's so much gold there i used to think i had to you know bypass like you know circumstances don't matter and they don't like they actually like it's paradox like they don't actually matter in the sense that you can uncreate them like that and there is yeah life is communicating through your experiences so yeah you build a really beautiful relationship by like being present with what's actually in front of you and going through and cultivating that sense of um Hmm. Your capability, Culting, cultivating a sense of your own, uh, <laughs> cultivating, cultivating a sense of um, faith in your own capabilities, and that is what moves you forward and gives you the sense of like, woo! I fucking got this. Let's fucking go. <laughs> okay, cool. Time's up. Love you guys.